Now, Defence Minister Manohar Parikar has sparked a controversy claiming some former Prime Ministers compromised India's deep assets, referring to information sources. Now, he made the statement in reaction to questions about the recent Coast Guard operation of the Gujarat coast. He said he did not give details about the operation involved, uh, involving a boat coming from Pakistan as the source uh, might get compromised. The Congress, in fact, has hit out over his statement. दो छह किलोमीटर दूर पर अभी इंटरसेप्ट किया था चौबीस तास एक बोट एकाद आ गया था ते इस इस नॉट इनफ प्रूफ तुम्हारा काय अभी इंटरसेप्ट किया था पहले मतलब इधर अभी मेरे लिए नहीं देना ये उस शक्त नहीं फ्रेंड द सोर्स माइट बी कॉम्प्रोमेस फ्रेंड छोटी यू हैव टू बिल्ड एसेट्स एंड यू हैव डीप एसेट्स आर एसेट्स विच के हैज टू बी क्रिएटेड ओवर 20 इयर्स 30 इयर्स सुदैवाने इधर या देशा दशे प्रधानमंत्री वो उनके लिए कह दी जे डीप एसेट सुधा कॉम्प्रोमाइज कर दी ना होगे इतने अनेक लोगों ने बोले वेल द डिफेंस मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया हैज मेड एन एक्सट्रीमली ग्रेव चार्ज ही हैज अक्यूज्ड फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स of compromising India's deep assets. What does he mean by deep assets? Is he talking about strategic assets? Is he talking about intelligence assets? He should come out with the evidence or he should take his statement back and publicly apologize. You cannot tar the former Prime Ministers of India, irrespective of whichever party they belong to, with a black brush. The Defence Minister of India speaks in the interest of India and if he says anything, there will be a gravitas or a reason behind it. There will be facts or substance behind it. As re regard, with regard to the Congress Party's demand for an apology, the first apology would be required from the Congress Party for bringing the nation to the level it has left.